Danny boy, Danny boy. How are you, my friend? How are you going? It's so good to see you. You know what? You look well. I just love rolling in here and seeing your face. You, now, if you're watching this, you'll be able to see this, but you're looking um, good. Yeah. You're looking good. You're looking like you're back in the office <laughs> working what? for the man. No, no, no. I'm no. burnt. You are I got so red. Burnt today. So red. I got short tan, arm tan. You know you're burnt when your shins are like bright red. You know you're burnt when you keep asking to put the aircon on when it's not that <laughs> It's boiling on yeah. you. You are not going to shower well. You're not going to sleep well. Do you know what you do? I always find this. I, I'm a real bronzer. I, oh. I'm a bronzer. So there's anyone who gets burnt. I'm a bronze whale. And when I get burnt, the next day I'm tan. You know what I do? I go home. Have a, I have a hot shower. No, get the it sting out. the sting out of it. And yeah. I never, ever get sore. That's, that's, a, that's tip for a typical thing that everyone says when they're burned. Oh, it's okay because I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go brown tomorrow, so it's all good. <laughs> don't stress. <laughs> oh no, I understand that I'm bright red and like can't move, but I'm actually gonna go real tan no tomorrow. No one gets more burnt than you. <laughs> you burn. Mate, you burn I go. I've, my skin is very pasty, and yeah. if I see the sun. It just turns. And you're ugly. Right. <laughs> Not that ugly. <laughs> um, quickly. Yeah. Update on the tattoo, please. Oh yeah. What's I'm going. Do you think we're stupid? Mm. Do you think we're stupid here at Liz Clockers B2RTD? Well, the sometimes I question Chris Sam's. Some stuff he does. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. No, I would never ever question anyone's intelligence in this company or the following. Mm. But the stakeholders. When I say that I'm getting a tattoo, you When's know, I'm a, I'm a man of my word. It gets done. On January 9th, 2022, I got to the Gold Coast in, into a tattoo parlor there, Celebrity Inc., and I get my tattoo done. Celebrity Inc. Bring the big dogs out. Wow. Oh, the big dogs get in Celebrity Inc. So That's exciting. Come through, Service Paradise, Celebrity Inc. Um, feel free to come watch me. No, are they there. sponsoring the show? Are they, sorry, are we sponsoring the show? We can't be a sponsored job. Can't be a sponsored job. Well, yeah, we could be. It is. Um, so I'll be there on the Goldie making a return, trying to get Stewie Jew into the parlor to see it. So essentially- How's that going so far with him? Oh, his phone must be off or something because I've been texting him. So left cheek, Stewie Jude, um, is a photo of him kicking a ball. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Right cheek will be a Sharon. So the yeah, ball crosses over my... Yeah, I love that. It's yeah. humour. That's what we go. do here. Across the crack. It's getting on. Buckley kicked one from 50 last week and he's missed the start. He's celebrating. He's celebrating a point. Jack Stewart with a great kick. Yes, he's got 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 a great kick. Yes, he Oh, you got the Omicom. Mm. Omica. No, 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 I don't have that. No, 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 I don't have that. No, no. <laughs> well, you're an anti vaxxer so you yeah, could have man. it. Bucks party on the weekend, am I right? Oh, glug, 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 glug. there's a Bucks party oh. and there's a fucking bucko here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's two Bucks parties going on. The party that I'm, I'm at, your Bucks party, and then me being here yeah, is a man. Bucks party. Yeah, man. How? I had to set the tone with that one, didn't I? Bit of yelling, screaming on the bus. Bit, you are bit of yelling, screaming. You imagine me out the front, just trying to rally the troops. I imagine you are no one listening to what I was saying. You're notorious for this, going so hard early I'm and like, just dying Ricky, in the ass. Have a skull. <laughs> Fuck off. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Who wants to start this fucking party? Because Bucko does. Sit the fuck down, Buck. No, we had a good we had a good day. What'd you do? Um, Run me through it. Went to the country races. Oh, Yarra Valley. Really love nice that race, race day. Course. Shout out to Yarra Valley. We love them there. They were awesome. How was the grass looking? Nice and yellow? Grass was beautiful. Dry? Grass was, track was nice. What would you give horses, it? A hard eight? Horses were loving the course <laughs> and it was really, really That's nice. That's what they call horses for courses. Yeah, horses, for, horses of courses because mm. they love it. And um, and they would love being out there in the sun getting, you know, smashed around it. a course. So that yeah, was good for them. No, we don't like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many beers you knocked back? Three? Oh, I think two and a half. <laughs> yeah. Good. You were so hungover. Yeah, you? I was like... Oh. At what point did you realise you were hungover? First sip. Yeah. yeah I did. <laughs> I, did. I, did. I got I did. a hang You know, it was actually quite funny though, which it's not that funny, but we, I hired a bus and yeah. um, I, was in, I was in control of like hiring the bus. That is like funny. funny. You're right. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be funny, but now it is funny. <laughs> and I thought I was hiring like a, a bus, like a bus that you would get to the races. Oh, you can imagine better. what it looks like. like yeah. a fo- a footy, you'd go to you know, like on a footy bus or those sort of buses. A Greyhound bus. You know what rocked up? A school oh. bus. <laughs> <laughs> a school bus rocked up. Can you imagine that? All the the seats there had it? no oh. idea it was a Bucks party. Oh, he no. rocked up thinking he's taken some kids to the races and 40 delinquent humans just jumped on and 
and um, obviously well behaved. But yeah, it was turn the heat up on it. No, 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 no. It was a good so, day. Very guys, this party's so good. this guy's party's dying down. Time to me to turn the heat up in here. Come what did you do? Now I saw you doing some real weird. Shit I was on around, the weekend, man. man. Why were you having a photo with the Premiership Cup? Because that was See, the most awkward thing I've but, ever seen in my life. And I knew you to say it's awkward I and you don't like I it. I didn't like it. But once you reach, feel, and taste success, you haven't done that. Come though. and talk. Well, have you held a Premiership Cup ever? I have, no, I you haven't. Have you held a Premiership Cup ever? You haven't. Blood, sweat, and tears went into what I did Saturday. I've tasted Why success. Why were you sitting there with the folk? Why were you doing that? Well, the lady said, you can't take the cup off the table. You have to hold it like that. <laughs> so that's where it first went wrong. And then I was with Nick Graham, the other clock, and I said, look, the background has Melbourne stuff on the sponsors. Like, can we just take it over a beautiful backdrop on Sorrento? She said, no, like, really, it, it cannot leave the table. So hence the awkward photo. And thanks to everyone who commented on the Instagram. Um, so yeah, many nice things on the there. Year. Real Estate of the Year Award. Yeah. Because you look like a real estate agent. And just on the real estate stuff. Are you wearing a hat to stop making yourself look like a real estate last, agent? Yeah. Last week, people said, you know, I wanted everyone to stop calling me a real estate agent. But when I go to Sorrento Hotel and people will ask if I have any listings available in the area <laughs> <laughs> and if, you know, I can sell them anything, like that's not the first thing I want to be talking about when I roll oh, in the Sorrento right. Hotel. But I was at Sorrento Hotel. Oh, shout out. Um, and, uh, you know, we love this, the Pit Boys. Marcus Miles, so accommodating yeah, again. Yeah, the best. Uh, absolutely love them. The home away from home is what I call it. Yeah. What was Nick Graham doing there? He would have been just mooching off everything. <laughs> yeah, Nick Graham thought he was, you know, the real king. People asking about you. You weren't there. Lots of people asking about well, you. They asked about my golf. No, they Did weren't. Did you tell him I was putting in work? Uh, no. Just hey, if you haven't seen me. this, I've come straight from the course. You I, look I like, played 36 holes today. You look like you've gone to school. Like I a, played 36 like holes today. Yeah, yeah, you look very tired. 36 holes and I've got heat stroke. Um, yeah, you do look. You know, You look exhausted. So you always saying that you're mates with people. I've I made so people, many man. mates down there. I don't know what's no, your thing. Mates, but listen, are you, let me just run. Are you mates with James Patterson? Yes. What does he do? Cricket. Yep. Well done. Mates with him now since being down the hotel. Are you mates with James Gwilt? Yes. James Gwilt? Yeah. Did you say? Yeah. Former St. Kilda star? Correct. Yes, I am. Are you friends with Nick Dalsano? Yes. Are you mates with Jack Steele? Yes. We do clay potting together. We know this. Well, I had a good conversation with Jack. What did he say? Uh, did he say I think it's best me? that you don't know. Did he say anything? He about actually me? did bring you up. What did he say? He said that you've you slid into his DMs. Yeah. Asking, <laughs> 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 you the podcast. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing. What do you What do you think? You're going to do it? I was like, man, stay <laughs> the fuck away from don't him. Don't do it. Please don't do it. So, um, oh, shit. and it was so good there. Just sipping so many Carlton's. Yeah. Working at bars actually. Yep. <laughs> Took my own, so that was good. <laughs> um, so I had a good weekend, played golf. You played golf, I played, I played golf. golf. Yeah. Um, I hit a 104. So That's not bad, man. Pretty good. That's not bad. At Rosebud. That's pretty bad at Rosebud. No, my handicap's played, 32. Can so. I tell you something? This is all seriousness. We're not good, okay? I'm better than you, but we're not good. Mm, you're just better than me. I'm just better than you. I reckon I play off 30. I reckon maybe 28. I, don't I know. play off 32. No, you don't. Anyway, yes, I do. Anyway, I played today mm. at this course, which was the most hectic course. I was I was a little bit late. Mm. You guys were angry at me. But when I said to them, when I'm crunching pinnacles and playing 36 holes yeah. at Cathedral Lodge, two hours out of Melbourne, phone's off. Okay? <laughs> Phone goes off. Wait. Phone goes off. Well, we were trying to get a hold of you. You are so late tonight. I'm late. And I'm heat stroke. But I've had a bloody good day. Hey, you know, um, a while ago we spoke about we were just getting into golf and you were so proud about how you took Sam Doherty to the cleaners after you'd yeah. just come out of like hospital after having a treatment. Yes, yes, so yes, that's obviously very weak. That was awesome. I spoke to him about when you went and played Peninsula Kingswood. Yes. How'd you go that day? Good. No. <laughs> How'd you actually go? <laughs> Tell us the I truth was that day. Him, I was trying to make him feel yeah, yeah, yeah. He said you were the worst he's ever seen. I was the worst I've ever seen, but I went to a – Course today called Cathedral Lodge. For all my more mm. greens golf people out there, for all my more greens golf people out there, they will know yeah. that I should not have been there. But I yeah. was. And it was unbelievable. Big shout out to Paul Marsh. Nice. And thank you, FLPA players. You know, us former players that obviously come out of the system on our own terms. No, you guys, no, no, not on your own terms. Because when we come out on our own terms, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, um, you need to ask about you. You said you haven't sort of been around hanging out with the AFL Players Association lately. I'm you trying probably to. Oh, no, I'm trying to distance myself. 
I don't need to check in with them. You should. No, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want them knowing what I'm up to. They would be seriously concerned if they knew what is happening in my life. Um, <laughs> That's, they're there to. They're there to help. Yeah, I'm saying that. I don't want to talk to them. Deal. Okay. <laughs> don't talk to Go. me, AFLPA. I'm happy no. with where I'm at. I know I stepped away from the game. Yeah. And I know you're trying to bring me back in. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to get you back into the yeah, community. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying. I'm happy that I walked away from the game. Okay, okay. Please don't help me. Yep. Please okay. don't ask, can you come back in some kind of capacity? sometimes they would say that that is screaming out for help. Some people would say that is screaming out for help. Well, is crying at night screaming out for help. Yep. Well, yep. there you are then. Um, I was, boxing. Yep. Yeah, I love boxing, man. What's your favourite punch? The favourite punch <laughs> for me? The jab. Yeah, it just sets you up, doesn't it? It just sets you up. Yeah. Yeah, you would have been a good jabber. You can't, have a, you can't have a one-two combo without the one. No, you can't have a haymaker without your jab. Yeah. You can't have a little bit of thunder yeah. without a little bit of lightning. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of good yeah. fucking night. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> the fight was on Cambosis versus Lopez Jr. Yeah. They were fighting for both undefeated. Aussie bloke is George Cambosis. He's now the best Aussie boxer of all time. It's unbelievable. Now – Fill me in on this. Okay. I'm a worldly man. I know a lot about the world, but so this is something that I'm not familiar with. They were fighting for the unified um, unified world championship, which is essentially for all the belts. Right. In boxing. So there's four governing body, bodies in boxing, and they all have belts. Yep. So when you win this world championship, the unified world championship, you get all the belts from every, every um, division of boxing. Yep. And it's huge. It's like hardly ever been done. So now the Aussie blow George Cambosis. And how did he get the fight though? Like how did he? He was the number one contender. So he was just right. fighting his way up to the top. Then he huh. was fighting. George Cambosis got a match with him. Mate, come out swinging. Rocked him to like the third. And then Fimo came back. Went to points. George Cambosis now the champion. Aussie huge. bloke. Now it's crazy because we've got, which is big for Australia. We have one of the best boxers in the world. And one of the best UFC fighters in the world now with Volkanovski as well. Yes, we do. Both from Sydney. Yeah. Southwest Sydney and West Sydney, yeah. I think. Yeah. And both were former NRL players wow. that started boxing to lose weight. So it gives me some inspiration. You know yeah. I should do it. Crazy. Fucking love, man. There's nothing better when you see a boxing match and you're like, boys, get more on your fucking front foot. It's so funny. What are you, you doing? Well, you know what's so funny is when you see people – like that aren't really boxers, but maybe they box and they do these photos. <laughs> <laughs> just putting my left foot up and yeah, my right foot. It's like you know where to put them. Yeah. Nothing better. Oh, mate, I love my boxing. Um, I was an expert yesterday when I was watching at the pub. Oh, me too. When, it, when they stopped, I was like, oh, 118, 114. 114, nah, Kondosis for sure. Did you get – The you way know, he you undercut know what happened, him – You know what happens at these fights? Like I know when I used to go watch the McGregor fights. You watch a fight and nearly get in a fight. Oh yeah! Did you nearly? Was it? I feel like the UFC is a lot more dangerous. Yeah, a lot the more boxing's dangerous. like you're right. After a UFC fight a pub, if you got to get another beer when it's ended, you're every chance to be get in like a leg lock, leg yeah, lock at the bar and like where'd you come from kind yeah, of thing. Scary. I don't do that anymore. So what on a big Georgie boy? Um, the draft was on. Draft. Hey, North Melbourne. You've had a whole year to take a pick. Why are you taking five minutes? Yeah. You know who you're taking. Yeah. Hurry it up. Well done, the Horn Hornet. Francis. Horn, and he's done well, the Hornet. And, and that's why Horn – we'd love Hornet, even though he's number one pick. But he is a business man because yep. he's selling his Guernsey now. Is he? Signed, number six for 500 bucks a pop. Is he really? So – Is he doing that? Yeah, that's, that's unreal. More than released that. He's so. a business man. He's a business He is man. a bi- – yeah. That's just – I mean, you'd really want to get a kid to be the, He's going to be the next one to, you know, save him up. So he's number six, is he? I think he's number six, yeah. Who was Sam? number six before him? Um, Telegana. Telegana. So the number six, mm. Shannon Grant. Shannon Grant was. Uh, who else was playing there? Lockie Hanson. Oh, Lockie Hanson. Lockie Hanson. Yep. Yeah, Shannon Grant. Shannon Grant, as I said. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Glenn Archer. Yeah. Who else did, did play there? Did Glenn Archer's kid get taken yeah, he did. as well? Yeah, he's got a big shin boner on him. Unbelievable. Massive that bloke must come in and say, this, bloke, this bloke's got some big shin bones. Yeah, he came in and just started headbutting the wall apparently day one. <laughs> <laughs> Get me a game. <laughs> just some hard as shit. My dad's Glenn. <laughs> Fucking kick it uh, to me. <laughs> who else went in the draft? Yeah, no, nah, he's scary. Glenn Archer's son. 
Uh, JHF went number one. Nick Dacos went to Collingwood. Mm. Mac Andrews was the first South Sudanese player to go in the top ten, which is absolutely massive. Yeah. Um, he even went top to went close to the top five. Sorry. Um, and it was fifth. Yeah, so he's gone the Suns. He could be. I can be the best player in the draft. <clears throat> Mac Andrews. Mac Andrews was the first South Sudanese player to go top ten in the draft. He went. Number five to the hey, Gold Coast Suns. Best player in the draft. Really? Mac Andrews. Far Big out. raps on him. Yeah, it's Reminds huge. me a little bit of me. Uh, going in the system, same height, same weight. No. Same ability. He's a Covers the ground beautifully. He'll pick Takes nine, good he'll mark. Pick five. Let's pick ten, actually. So. Ten. Um, so, yeah, there's heaps of good players that's mm. going in. Let us know some bolters mm. or some sliders. What about the poor bloke from West Coast? Oh, the girls he had. <laughs> Funny. What the <laughs> fuck is that? Honestly, we've said this. at the, we Didn't I say this? Mm. My one tip... My one Make tip sure. for draftees, make sure the photographers don't ruin your life. He should have said no. He should have said no. He said no, no, no. Like. So explain what happened to him. Oh, my he, God. This bloody, the kid that went, I, I don't always have his name in front of me, but he went drafted to. Um, West Coast. West Coast. And they've got him, he's a big lump of a lad too. Yeah. Like he's a, he's big, a good size. Big, big size. Yeah. And he's, yeah, they've gone to take him and they've given him a bloody triple XL jumper. Idiots. He's it's, in a dress. It's Who? unbelievable. Campbell Chesser, Paul Campbell Chesser's got a three XL Guernsey on him. Yeah, absolutely swimming in it. Even you should have said photographer, mate. No, like I know what's going to happen here. It's going to come back and haunt me in ten yeah. years. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sam just said someone tweeted saying, "Do they think they were drafting Shaq?" <laughs> That's great. So good. Oh, Chesser. So good. Hey, Chesser. we spoke about this last week as well um, about Matt Doran. Who did the Adele? Oh, Adele, yeah. You know how he stuffed that up. Yeah. Did you see his apology? What's he done? Oh, it was actually quite good. He just apologised. Did you remember to apologise? No, he did. <laughs> he apologised and he explained himself a little bit. He said that he didn't see the email. He said there's no, you know, making mistakes. But, um, like, as you can imagine, like Adele, yeah. one of the biggest and, you know, most incredible pop stars in the world. Can you imagine her fans, what they would have Torn I mean, apart. Yeah. And and rightly so. Yeah. But he did do a good apology. Um and I DM'd him. You didn't I haven't DM'd him yet. Yeah. Did you abuse him? I said nice memory flog. Yeah. <laughs> nice memory flog. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I don't forgive him either, but um it was he did a very good talk about did it. Did he? You like yeah. to you appreciate it? You're back on him? No, no. no <laughs> yeah. No, not really. We're off him. Yeah. So don't come here, I guess, Matt. <laughs> You see Netflix, man. How's I, how's your? Have you got enough money? T- sorry, you want to <laughs> Have you got my, enough money tucked away for the thing I'm about to tell you? Have I got Have you been money? saving lately? I've been saving because I'm about to tell you something that might hurt the savings. Oh, Netflix. It's jacking the price up on you. Oh, horse cock. Eleven ninety nine. Try twenty three bucks on for size from now on. <laughs> mm hmm. I nearly just fell out of my chair. I know. How am I going to bring priority pick? I know. They're sticking you extra money now to watch all their streaming. 23 bucks a month. How can they go up that much? They, I don't know. Uh, that's ridiculous. And the, and the silly thing is no one's going to fall off. We'll all keep watching it and keep paying for it. I'm absolutely outraged. How am I supposed to get a... <laughs> am, am I going to drop off? No. I'm trying to get a home loan, Netflix, and they're going to see this jacked up price. And it's going to be absolute bullshit when I have to tell the bank that, yeah, sorry... I'd love to try that's and get bloody, a home loan with you, but I want to watch Netflix. That's too much. You, like, you're nearly going back to Foxtel. You're nearly going back to Foxtel with that. I'm every chance to pay 110 bucks a month at Foxtel instead and get more channels. All Star. All Star. Man, you know <laughs> such good? a loose clogger. You know what's have. good though? I reckon. All Star. No, All Star was only if you lived down in the country. I'm pretty <laughs> I remember sure. having Foxtel. You got your mates' house. Like, oh, you got Foxtel. I've got All Star. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Tell your mum to take me home because <laughs> I'm 13. Um, oh, <laughs> that, what's your favorite, remote, I'm what, out. What's your favourite platform? Um, seven now. <laughs> seven plus. What about ABC iView? Oh, yeah. No, my favourite platform. SB on, on demand. My favourite platform is probably – Oh, so Mine's Dan. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Dan. <laughs> Can we get a sponsor by one of these, surely? Um, yeah. The time you rack up your stand bill, your KO, your uh, binge, mm. your Netflix, mm. your Amazon Prime, mm. That's there's your one no more one dollars left to, in the one world. One way to tuck it to bankruptcy. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> going bankrupt trying to watch, you know, all these shows. So which one are you going to drop off? How do you have to get rid of one? Which one's it going to be? I have to get rid of one. Oh, 
shit. It's hard. And I know these are like your babies as well. It wouldn't be SBS On Demand <laughs> or, or ABC iView. Yeah. Far out, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to rotate them. I don't – yeah. I don't know. Where would you go? Uh, probably, probably Apple. I've got the Apple oh, one as well. Oh, so have I. Not, yeah, I've got yeah. Apple as well. It sort of sucks. Um, I'm probably going to get uh, – no, I think I like Apple. I, I'd drop off Binge. I don't mind Binge. Why? What's on Binge that you like? Something. Something's Succession. good. Succession. Yeah, something's good on Binge. Yeah. I remember. Um, how would you run away from a cop? <laughs> just, just off the twist. <laughs> did you just, did you? Did just run out of things you talk about? <laughs> I was going to say something. I thought that was boring, so I thought I'd move along. How, How would you run away, run away from, from a cop? So, man, just imagine this. Okay. Before I, I, I'll set the same thing. Set you. the tone. You've stolen someone's Netflix account and the cops, <laughs> the cops are chasing you. You're down a street. You might be tiring. You've got to lose them somehow. Mm. How are you going to do it? Mm. <laughs> I'm just visualising it. You broke into someone's house. I'm not sure if I'm visualising it or I'm <laughs> passing out from his stroke <laughs> from my 36 holes today. How would you um, do it? Just off the top of your head. I don't know. It's a hard head, thing to think about What right I would now. do, all right, there's actually been something that I've all, I would always do. So what I would do is I'd run down an alley, mm. okay, a, a dead end. Wow, okay. What I'd do is I'd pretend that I was starting to slow down. Yeah. Like starting to slow, and they would like to catch me. And as soon as I get to the end and they're, one, they're just about to grab me, I'm at the brick wall and they're about to grab me. Yeah. I'd speed up five meters into the brick wall. They'd chase me. I'd run up, <laughs> kick off the back, the, and do a fucking backflip. I'd do a backflip off the wall. I'd kick him in the back of the head on the way down, and then run off. That is. So and obviously, we're talking. These are corrupt police officers, aren't they? Yeah. Because I wouldn't be doing this to like. No, no. And I can see you definitely doing that. Um. So I. Started, I would never do that to the actual cops because I, was they, just, I respect them. I was just having to surf the internet and. Um, luckily, I came across um, someone called Spanion. Spanion has, has been in these prickly situations before. Right. So now, after watching these videos, you wouldn't know how to get away from cops. Right. I definitely would because I've okay. watched Spanion's video and his okay. tips. He's done this before. So this move is called – it's called the double back. So essentially what you do is you run down alleyway – and because you're already preparing, you're thinking- it sounds like, a lot like what I was going to do. You're thinking like a criminal before yeah. you do your criminal act and then you've got to plan for this moment when you're getting chased. So you've done your criminal act. You're wearing two shirts underneath, right? You're wearing two shirts on, oh, one white, yeah. one black. Yeah. The double back is one down an alleyway. You take the first top off, you put your hat on backwards and then you come at the alleyway, alleyway where the cops are running down and you start pointing, you're like, oh, he's down there. He's down there. So let me show you what Spanion does and we'll put okay. this up so people can see it maybe. Probably not. 50-50, all right? It works half the time. This is the double back. Last time I'm going to do it, all right? So you, you it's got, realistic. You're getting chased, right? You're calm. You come around the corner, right? So there you, you've got about 30 metres on them, 40 metres on them, yeah, right? Well, you only have five metres. So. Right? So you're coming around the corner like this, so. Come out like that, bro. See? Come out like that. Like, major just ran past you. Has he got a footlock? He's got a sandwich. Subway. He's got a. He's got a falafel sub. So this bloke, for everyone that is not, not going to watch it, came out with a black top on, came out from the alleyway, pointed back, white top, Where? hat backwards, and had a Subway falafel footlong on him. I'm all about the subway flight. So you're footlong. telling me now when I commit crimes, I've got to carry a foot long on me, my back yeah. pocket well, at all lucky, times? Lucky I always have one. <laughs> lucky I always have one. So um, uh, Okay, well, that was interesting. That's just good to, for me to know now, like if we are ever going to run from the cops, you're just yeah. going to run up a wall and kick him in the back of the head. Hey, um, sad one. Yeah. Sad one. Mm. Virgil Abloh. Oh. Off-white. Yeah, sad. Very sad. I think he sold off-white recently. It's Louis? I think he sold what it to Louis, Louis? Or he, Yeah, he sold something. But um, passed away. Crazy. Bloody, he was 38? He was 41. 41, sorry. 41, privately be dealing with a rare form of cancer for years. No one knew about, did like, it's very sad, but did well to keep it under wraps, someone so big. And Crazy. passed away this morning. Yeah, super sad. Um, for those who don't know, Virgil Abloh, uh, Off-White. off white. Worked with Louis Vuitton. Yeah. He was like- Designer. Basically, they say one of the, the biggest impacts of design in the last 
you know, five, ten years. Mm. Pretty crazy. Changed fashion. Yeah, he did. Crazy. He did, um, which is very sad. So shout out to, yeah, everyone that is upset by that and his family. Long. We need to talk about the marathon coming in 13 <gasps> days. Can I take my top off? I'm so hot. I'm so hot in here and I'm a heat stroke as well. Can I? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh, I thought you wanted to take your top off like you had the marathon top on. Oh, I should yeah. have actually. Um, um, yeah, marathon. Uh, am I training? Depends. Define training. Mentally. Mentally, yes. Physically, no. <laughs> I'm not running physically. Um, I'm getting so nervous now. Had a reason behind me not training last week. I went and trained at Greensboro on Wednesday. How was? Set the tone for the boys. How did the Greensboro boys go? Good, good, good. Did you meet good. any of my mates? Uh, name your mates. Met them. Rids? Oh, of course. Rinser. Rids. <laughs> oh, Rids. I'm sorry. I met, I met Rinser. Then I met Rids. Yeah, Rids. Yeah, Rids. Rids. Riddle. Riddle. Yeah. Yeah. No, Nick Riddle. Yep. Uh, what about Belly? Oh, Tom Bell. Tom yeah. Ring the Bell. Tom, <laughs> That's what I call him. Tom Shake the Bell. Yep. Who else do you know down there? Uh, Chris Clark. Oh, Clarko. Clarky. Depends what you call him. <laughs> different mates, different names. How was training for you? You saw? Good. Um, no, yeah, I'm pretty sore. I didn't train. I didn't, <clears throat> didn't marathon train because my hips were screaming after oh, Wednesday. Yeah. Because when you set foot into a new environment and you're coming in, you're a bit older than everyone else. You've been in the system. You've had, got seven years of experience at the top level. Yep, yep. These young kids, they're looking for me. Yep. They're looking to me for some information, insights, yep. and, and how can... So what happens here mid-session, right? You're doing some leading out of the goal square. Mm. Young Johnny... He's just come up. He's from the under-16s. He's training with the seniors. Mm. And he misses you by one metre. Johnny, do me a favour. Don't ever fucking kick the ball again. Hand <laughs> <laughs> ball to someone next to you, all right? And go, 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 do, do, go do six laps, okay? I'm not going to do this bullshit. Then come here to do ground balls. Fucking hell. Any, if anything, uh, and now it will happen, guys, if we're doing, if I'm leading from the square and you're kicking it at my shins, I'm going to boot the fuck out of it and you can go get it, okay? I'm not doing ground balls. I'm 38 years old. I mean, fuck. <laughs> okay. And what are you doing if you, if the defender is getting into you? Oh, I was like, mate. I'll, I'll just go home. I'll just get my car. <laughs> if if someone touches me at training before April, I'll just get in the car and go home, and that's Ooh. it. So no, I was there. Um, as I said, fuck. I set the tone. Two six minute runs, um, and just said, boys, get on. Like oh, I'm Trap here. On. I'm here to make a change. Trap on me back. Have you been close to a flag? Yes. Am I going to get you there? Absolutely. But I need you to do a few things, boys. When I come to training, switch on. Yep. Get in the, get in the yeah. mindset. Yeah. Dad doesn't waste his time. No, I don't waste time. And when it's game day and it's time to go out there round one on our home deck, the slime, don't fucking let anyone push you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're home. And it was a bit weird I did it day one of pre-season, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the boys love that. Yeah, no, I do. I've heard good things. Yeah. I heard you fit in really well. Oh, so many mates. Since, yeah, you uh, you uh, yeah. You've made a lot of mates this weekend. Um, but back to the marathon then. Mm. So I'll give you a little a little context of mine. Mm. I did a 30K run two last weekend. Mm. So not this one, the one before. Nearly died. Yeah, you did. You, yeah. You're you rattled by it. Yeah, I'm still a bit rattled by it. So I got another one. I'm doing one on Thursday. Yeah. Um, which will be fun. Get that one done. And then from there, I'll start to chill. Yeah. But my Achilles is now, gone. genuinely, my left Achilles is, is saying, Stop. Hey, you. Now that I think about that it, man, hurts. both my Achilles are a bit sore. But mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna run 30Ks tomorrow. Um, shout out to everyone that's doing the marathon too in the Litzloggers team. Now, what mm. we need to do, and we will post something about this next week, but on the marathon day, obviously we want to, Come we'll together. together. So we're going to have to work out where might be a place that we can meet. Start line would be a good, good place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're going to meet somewhere before it, get like a group shot. Mm. Um, are we going to run together? Uh, if you can keep up with me the first 200 metres. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. okay. you know I'm going for the first yeah, 200. Yeah, I know you are. I know you are, yeah. But yeah. Um, I, in all seriousness, this is you. I'm not, we're not, I'm not playing around here. You are fitter than me at the moment because you have trained. I reckon I could run 21 with you and then you'll go. And I'll nah. see you inside the G. I'm, I know what you're doing. I promise I know, you're I know not doing, you're doing I know. You're so scared of me. I'm not doing this. I promise on your life, I have not ran, man. I just want to finish, man. I, I, like it's getting 
to that point now where I'm actually starting to stress out about it. It's not going to be fun. Like there's no, nothing's, the excitement at the start wears off 2Ks in and then you're like, oh, awesome, I've got 40Ks here with my own thoughts. What about the weather today? How hot it was. Like I'm sunstroke, played 36 holes. I'm like, I'm burned. Mm. Like I've got a short tan t-shirt, tan sock tan. Yeah. Imagine how hot it's going to be in two weeks time. The race is at 6 a.m. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, it's still fucking hot, Sam. Well, Thank it's going to be hot five hours in when it's 11 a.m. Have you ever been in summer? It's yeah. It's hot. It's Sam, 6 a.m. Have you ever gone outside before? It's still hot. Have you, well, it didn't take me five hours to finish, Sam. Oh, as long as it's four or five hours to finish. It's going to be It's going to be hot. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're not um, Yeah, we're not in any condition. Anyway, we are looking to forward to it, though. And we've got the. Hey. Hey, by the way, I think if you're already listening to this. Probably too late. Could be too late. Could be too late. And we said that. Now, I saw the press launch button the way in. Don't do Almost it. Almost did it. No, no, no. And no, you no. weren't here, and it was a good thing you weren't here yep. because I, you know, I was ready to go and Sam had to hold me back. Yep. Well, if, you, if, you, if you're listening to this now, the merch, the marathon merch, mm. potentially, is online. It will be there, but 70%. hopefully it's not. I'm hoping. Yeah, it it'll be there if it's not sold out. Oh, well. Yeah. Is what it is. We have might, really, hey, maybe it's like maybe imagine if we ever found our stuff on marketplace. Nah, I reckon I reckon we're gonna <laughs> that, wouldn't, that would be bad. <laughs> that I reckon we um I don't really think that this run will sell out to be honest, and I'm really excited to see some cloggers in the the run club. Everyone's been you know been really positive about it. And we yeah. in all seriousness, we are extremely pre- like just so thankful. Yes, for the support, no, the love and support. So we are. Um, if you are interested in that. We've got the new – we've got restock yep. um, of all our merch, other all merch, merch from last yeah. month um, and hopefully we, we don't run out of that and we've got the list cloggers running um, mm, one club. singlet and – And just to bottle. reiterate, this if it is for runners, like obviously we've been talking about running a lot later in the marathon, but yeah. even pre-season, you're still it's running a pre-season. pre-season. Kit. It's a pre-season, pre-season kit. kit. It's summer active wear it's kit. It's just a running kit. You can wear it to the pub, Gym honestly. Kit. I'm going to wear mine, mine to the pub. Yeah, I'm going to wear mine to the pub. Yeah. So you can wear it wherever you want. Wear it at nightclubs, you know? Yep. You want to go to public house down the road, in it, do it. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, uh, we're excited for that, so that will be very, very um, – What about – what's this? So comedian Lawrence Mooney uh, demands $1 million payout in lawsuit with former employee Triple M. Mooney was abruptly taken off our air last week with a year remaining of his contract. Triple M was a breach in his contract. It's reported that Mooney had – he had fallen out with – uh, former block contestant Jessica Eva yeah. um, and several other members of staff on the show suffered dwindling ratings. Wow. Yeah. I heard about that. I didn't talk about it. Well, you just pretty much nailed it in the yeah, summary. Okay, so cool. um, he was on an absolute packet to be there at Triple yeah. M. I think it was like four million left over three years. Wow. They had so much money. They had to fall out this co-host. And he's like, I'm just not coming back anymore. I'm not sure what the fallout was about, but. It's a lot of money to be like, nah, yeah. just suck it up. Like, I'll do it with you. Oh, we hate each other. Yeah, I do. Oh, um, I'm seeing here Tony Armstrong had a haircut, so that's huge. That's massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is huge if true. Um, I'll have to check in with Tony. He's not answering our calls to see if that um, actually yeah. is true or not. Because That's big. That's frankly, big. I, I actually want to know that. what haircut he got. And I wonder if he went for the Justin Bieber cut. No, he went for the real estate cut. Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> went for mine. Um, hey, actually, in all seriousness, Omnicrom. Yeah. New, how many variants are we going to have of this thing? Omnicrom. There's a lot of others I could just name off the top of my head that I've forgotten right now. Delta. Yeah. Um, the normal COVID, one, Norva strain, COVID, normal COVID strain. COVID. So um, COVID apparently 19. now the fear with the Omnicrom is Omnicron, is that is too powerful for our vaccine. Oh, look. So I don't fucking care anymore. Like, can we get <laughs> it? I, I'm so over this fucking COVID thing, man. Yeah. Can, can we not even just – I just want us to just pretend that we don't know what's going on for a while. I want to talk about it, man. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm a vaxxer. You know, I've Should got we, the dose in Do you, you want to go back to lockdown? <laughs> if you bring this state to its knees again, yeah, yeah. you – Deal's going to catch Omnicron no, and start do you wanna spreading go, it. But you, like, if you're, you know, obviously you want to go back into lockdown then. Why? You want to be safe. I want you just to get vaxxed, man. That's what I want. <laughs> 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 so I can not go into any lockdowns. Yeah, fair, fair. Okay. Yeah. 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 More, give me, I, I know I've had two. Give me fucking 20. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fuck. Give, just keep loading me up. I'll tell you when I've had enough of these jabs, all right? <laughs> Omnicron, you know, if there's any other ones, Delta, yeah. normal COVID. Yeah. 
Three Odie variants. Mind. Give me fifty jabs. Yeah, I'm keen to vax me the, the fuck up. <laughs> be the test dummy for vaxes. <laughs> I'm fucking. Oh. Hey, COVID's not going anywhere. Neither am I. Yeah. Dose me up, bro. Now, uh, exciting something exciting that's news. <laughs> now, yeah. Stick stick with me here. Okay, I don't want I'm you going to get tired. With you, man. I don't want you to get tired. But this is a little bit of an update on something that happened in Priority Pick a while ago. Yeah. What happened? Now. Do you remember the podcast The Lighthouse? How could I forget? So there was a one that I called The Lighthouse, Theo Hayes. Now he was the one, the Belgian backpacker that yes. went missing in Byron Bay. I've heard about this. This is unbelievable. This is him. This is him. So if you know that story and listen to that podcast, and if you haven't, maybe go back and listen to that. Stop mm. playing with Lego. Um, it's an unbelievable podcast about this guy that goes missing from Belgium. Yep. Um, and they couldn't find him. Now, there's been a bit of data that may have been held – I don't know how it was held, but they found it like through some geo tracking. Yes, yeah, I don't know what phone. that means. When you geo track a phone. Yeah, but how did they not find that at the start? That's what I'm sort of. Well, geo tracking is when the the, the cell data is ping from when your phone is. I know, but they did that. They've done that already. So I'm wondering. I don't oh. know how they've found it again. But um, the original phone was the original theory. Where is this? The original theory has folded because his phone was sending data the following day. Mm. Yeah, interesting. I don't really understand that, but I do. Pretty crazy. So he left Cheeky Monkeys in Byron at eleven. They geo tracked his phone from Cheeky Monkeys to the edge of a cliff. Yes, a lot and of other places too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, well, he, but was the last one, he was running. Yeah, he was walking bush, and running bush. through bushes and stuff. And then everyone, you know, the, trying to put it all together, they say, "Look, from what we can figure, unfortunately, we think he's gone off the cliff." Then now they've got new data saying, "Well, if he went off the cliff, his phone." we presume would have been with him, but his phone was pinging the day after midday before it got completely is turned what, off. Is that what? Yeah. So they're saying, well, he couldn't, he, you know, it doesn't match up. If his phone was still going after oh he'd gone here, God. then why is his phone pinging the next day like K's away? How does that work? So last ping on the 30th, him being pinged at the cliff edge, they thought, okay, we could safely assume he's gone. Then all of a sudden, hold on. Wasn't that last cliff edge but ping? Why, but I'm just trying to work out why now they're – How they've got it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they knew and they're just bringing it out. I'm sure. That's interesting. I'm sure. Bloody but, hell, um, well, let's hope, crazy. They, hope that they can um, find mm. some more out about that. That's bloody yeah. nuts. But, yeah, have a listen to that podcast if you've had already. It's bloody mm. – uh, I was going to do People Who. Yeah. But quickly, there's this guy here. Yeah. 15-year-old, oh, Oliver yeah. Real. I'm going to say Real. Yeah. Olivier. Olivier Rial. Yeah. Stands at a staggering seven foot five inches tall. He's 200. How tall are you, Dan? I'm 200 flat. 200 centimetres. This guy's 228 centimetres. So That's... he's basically you yeah. with me standing on your head. That's not a piss ant at all. That's a big boy. He's a teenager. World record for the tallest teenager in the world. Unbelievable. He's playing oh. basketball. Mate, it just would not be fun being seven foot five. Just You've got to think. There's got to be some – Joints that are going to be a bit sore there, mate. His back, his spine would be so sore. Just it carrying so much body, yeah, ducking under doorways, getting stared at. Mm. Everyone always asking, "Hey, dunk it? Can you right, dunk I've it?" I got a good question. I got a good question. Yeah, you know how for a guy, there's yes. like people like tall guys. <laughs> yeah, they do. What's? I'd love to get some people tuning into this and letting us know. What's what do you think for a, you know if you're a guy or a girl? What do you think is handsome tall versus creepy tall? Is six seven creepy tall? Yeah, <laughs> I reckon you're too tall. Mm. Whereas I'm just normal, good tall. You're not tall. <laughs> what are you? Five five piss in? <laughs> I'm like what five, are you? Five one actually. Five four. You bring a lot of good energy for five one. Yeah, <laughs> that you do. What are you? Five four. I'm five. I think I'm five. Ten. Fuck, bro. I came out of the womb five ten. Yeah. I'm one seventy eight. Yeah. Oh, one seventy eight. I used to say I was. I used to say I was one eighty. Now I'm just like fuck it. I'm one seventy eight. I don't care. I think seven five is definitely creepy tall. Yeah. Six seven's on the the okay end. Anything after six seven is creepy. Yeah. Like six eight's like oh no thanks. Pretty crazy. Hey, I got a um my people who this week. Yeah, go play the sting. People who, people who, we hate the things that these people do. So um, I was down on the peninsula this weekend. I was in Flinders getting my coffee on Sunday morning. We love coffee. Good people down there, good general store. 
getting my coffee and the guy in front of me, everyone's just woken up. Go to the cafe, get a coffee, wake up. The guy says, yeah, good morning. I'm going to have uh, a chai or uh, a chai latte and my partner is going to have a soy decaf latte. And that's not an order. Decaf's soy, not an order. Soy decaf yeah. latte. You're 12 years old. Soy decaf latte. <laughs> Decaf's not an order. I don't mind. People who I order. I think people are allowed to order decaf if they want. If if you order decaf, you are 10 what years are old. Pregnant women, they can't eat. They can't they drink Have a green coffee. tea. Like they have to have decaf. Don't. If you, anyone, if you ha- have decaf coffee, you're a piss ant. <laughs> Imagine like rolling, this bloke rolling over like, morning, honey, like I'm going to get some coffees, wake us up and just kick start the day. It's a placebo coffee though. I'll it's have a, a soy decaf latte. You're 12. If my dad ever, if I ever go to a cafe with my dad and he says, hey, can you get me a decaf coffee? <laughs> you're not my dad anymore. What your dad says to me. You're, t- you're 10 years old and I'm your dad. All right, Danny, well, I got one. This one's been sent in. Um, is it from Pavlova Picasso? Shout out to Pavlova Picasso. Um, <laughs> This one says, people who make social media accounts for their pets. All for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> n- not gonna lie, I've definitely got one of those. <laughs> definitely got one of those. It's pretty funny though, like, I'm actually, I'm for it because, yeah. it's, you know, my dog Madden's like, sometimes I put like a, okay, sometimes I put like a beer, he's like laying in the chair backwards, gut up, feet yeah, in the air, yeah. put a beer on his arm. Yeah, and give in, fairness, like, in, fairness, your, in, fa- in fairness, like your dog is like, Pretty shit. <laughs> My dog is a designer dog, man. You wouldn't Your dog understand not a designer dog. what it's Your like to is... have an obediently trained cavoodle Your man dog who sits on a... command, can walk off lead. Sit on command. My dog, Madden, wouldn't even know what the lead is. Man, you just don't understand, <laughs> like, a obedient... There's something about you. Obedient dogs, he's just... He's one of the best dogs of all time. Yeah, he's a good dog. I don't no, know what I'd do boy. without him. He's a good boy. Oh. I remember when you got him. Remember when we f- took him swimming? Yes. First? Yeah. The water rat, yeah, is. my boy. My boy loves the water. He does love the water, man. Like his dad, a bit like yeah. his dad. Yeah, he's a good boy. How is he? He's good. Do you talk about me much? Uh, no, I prefer not to remember you mm. at all. Yeah, he's he's a good boy. Yeah, let me see him. We got a dog car. <laughs> we should have a dog day. Yeah, we should. We should have a dog, dog, day. dog day. That'd be fun. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I've just seen the run sheet, and yeah. I'm actually excited for this one. What is it? <laughs> it's a good start. The Curse of Von Dutch. Oh. Have you, you seen that yet? Are you excited? Uh, oh, also, hold on. Give me some kudos for what I gave you last week. Yeah. Thank no, we, you. I was going to bring that up. Thank you, yeah. I was going to bring that up. Thank you. So are we getting into it now? Getting into it. Okay, cool. So, uh, new sting. You're now listening to Priority Pick. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you for that sting. Incredible. Now, just to reference that, the snoring... Yeah, meant is deep me. level. No, deep no, deep level. No, great, great, great so content. We've actually done. We've done the statistics on the episode and when people switch off, and it's yep. right about now. So thanks yep. so much for listening. Yeah, feel free to tune out now. We've already, you know, we've we've loved you being here. Thank We're not going to miss much. So yep. we will see you next week. Yep. Okay. Now, to all three people that are sticking give, around, I was going to give go. you some kudos, but now I'll say around then quickly. I think so. Leave after this. Last week you spoke about um, a man named Scott. Yeah. Kid Cuddy documentary. Mm. I've got something to say to you. Thank you so much for the respect. Yep. Yeah, I'm bathing in that. Thank you. And that means a lot. Do you like this? <laughs> Thank you so much. The slow cap. I'm just yeah. bathing in that. Yeah. Did I do good? Great. Thank you. Great documentary. Thank you. Incredible. Mm. Well done to you, my friend. Thank you. Loved it. That means so much. And let me just say this one thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need that anymore. So that was, do you want to give a bit of a rundown of that again? Just oh, I didn't watch it. I just heard it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so do you I want to watch it? No, it was really good. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. You actually, you didn't watch it. Oh, no, God, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some old mates told me it was good. Oh, mate, it was unbelievable. Mm. Kid Cuddy documentary. Um, yeah, just talks about like how he... Become a rapper, what he raps about. It's sick. Anyway, I'll have to watch I it. I thought you'd watched it. No, no, really? so I watched the preview. Oh. Okay. I'm too busy, man. Um, all right, another one. Mm. I watched one last week. Uh, it was called The Curse of Von Dutch. Heard about this. Good things? 
I've heard that it's a crazy story about how Von Dutch started and then where he went to after that or the designer went after that. Yes, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So Von Dutch being the brand that everyone was like one of the biggest brands ever in the 2000s. Those hats. Paris Hilton, Tommy Lee. Those. Nicole Richie. Like just the everyone, Britney Spears, all wearing those hats. They had T-shirts. The hat, yeah. The Geordie Shaw got, you know, remember those people? Oh, they used to I wear remember They had these big trucker hats, Von Dutch on the front, and then like the clothing was really like a dragon or like something yeah, weird, weird with like diamantes weird, on it and real stuff. Weird stuff. Anyway. It's basically about the brand, how it started, what happened to it, and the story is unbelievable. I won't even give it justice, but it, it was created by like three people. They all think that they're like the main owner. There was a falling out. It results in a murder. Like, it's nuts. It's nuts. It's crazy. I'm Check actually going to, after, yeah, kick out while I'm watching that. Okay, done. Cool. Anyway, anyway, Danny boy, there you hey. go. you got a man named Scott. You've got... Von Dutch. Uh, the Curse of Von Dutch, both on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And then um, June. June. We, I have seen June. I just, yeah, I'm not familiar. I'll, I'll brush up on it for next week. Yeah, it's not out yet, so do that. Hey, it's be been good to hang out with you. Hey, I love seeing you. I love everyone. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. Hey, so sorry. There might be some merch on there. Get in there and get at it if it's still there. We're yeah. live probably at this point. So we love you guys. We love you so much. Thank you so much. And we cannot wait to see some list cloggers um, going for a run very, mm. very soon. Um, actually, before we get into this, I'm just going to spitball this. We had an idea last week to go for a run. Take our pants. What? To go for a run with the community before the run. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'll do a run with them. It's not like a warm-up run. Let us know if you guys want to go for a run. It was just going to go down to like Princess Park and we'll do a lap. If anyone wants to go for a run with us before we – it's like our grand final parade, yeah. I guess. Yeah, the grand final parade. Uh, the the marathon parade. grand final parade before yeah. the marathon. Done. Let's we'll organise that, that for All next right. week. Like it. Bye. He's celebrating a point. Jackie Chan returns.